When, you, when, when, you when are you going? Elk, when are you going? When it. are you going to go uh, wild boar hunting again? I'm going with you. You and I are going to go. We're going to schedule something soon. We'll schedule something. Um, let's schedule something like maybe after Christmas. Yeah, get me an Uzi yeah. and then no, I'll no, go. No. I'm going to get you. Uh, <laughs> yes. Ah, as it comes running, because those things I saw when uh, I was saying they're watching the uh, the chef there from Hell's Kitchen. Um, ah, God damn it! I said his name earlier. I'm the worst. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. I yeah. made his scrambled eggs again this morning. My wife fucking loves it. What kind of scrambled eggs? Is he? Oh, dude, he fucking he puts. This is what he does. He, he, he first of all he gets he gets the pot, pot uh, little pan going, a little olive oil, puts some uh, tomatoes still on the vine in there with, with some mushrooms. He just lets that fucking sizzle, and then he takes three eggs and like a dollop of fucking butter, puts it in there, doesn't mix it, already puts it on the flame, and then he starts mixing this thing around. He mm. talks about all the chemistry. You don't want to mix it before you put it in there. Doesn't put any salt in there because some reason that does it. He's like on the heat now, off the heat. See there, and you have to do it because the heat. It's in here. I've watched it a zillion fucking times when I'm watching this so thing. So the heat's in the pan. Heat's in the pan. Yeah. So that's the one thing that I learned. Um, I learned from this guy, uh, uh, Chef uh, Roy, who did who, uh, uh, Roy Choi, who started the whole gourmet food truck thing. I did like Favreau's doing shooting this thing, and I went over there and I, I got to sit. And he taught me this shit about the grilled cheese sandwich. And what I learned about these guys is, dude, it's all controlling the heat. Mm -hmm. Like my whole shit is just like medium high. I'm like medium high for <laughs> ten minutes. And it's like you're not cooking. You're just standing there like a fucking bouncer or some shit. It's like so he you gotta does, manipulate it. So he does all of that, and when it gets to a certain level of uh, coming together. Then he takes this creme fraiche and puts it in there. What is creme fraiche? I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's delicious, <laughs> right? And then you get it, you bring it back back on the heat, and then salt in, right? He puts that shit in. You go, and you just keep stirring this fucking thing, and it almost looks like it's water. You don't think it's done. You taste it, and you're like, oh, my God, this is great. Then you take it off, right? No, wait, you chop up a little bit of dill. You sprinkle it up. You mix it in there, and then the, by then the sourdough toast pops up, a little olive oil on that. You put the fucking scrambled eggs on that with the fucking tomatoes and the mushroom. Give it Ooh. to your wife. Over. Woo. Over. But then they love it, and then they keep telling you to make it, and you're just like, yeah, uh, fuck. Can't just do the old scrambled egg with the cheese in it? i got to get you some eggs. We have our own chickens. I have 23 chickens. Uh, how long can they lay eggs before you have to fucking retire them? Well, they just stop laying eggs after a while, but then you I don't them, eat them. Right? No, what I just do? let them live. They just, they just live, and then they die. I've had a bunch just die. How they long, get old, how long they do they die. live? I've had chickens for now, I, I want to say five years, somewhere around there, four or five years, maybe five years. And um, they just fucking die sometimes. I've had like, uh, <laughs> but I have some of them that are like five years old, <laughs> that are still five years old. I was just picturing this chicken at his desk, you know, just having those classic <laughs> 1950s <laughs> heart attacks. You know, back then when nobody knew shit about fucking heart attacks, like, it was terrifying. Why does everybody's heart just fucking stop? Yeah. And they were all eating bacon and fucking <laughs> martinis and all this shit. And they had no idea. And that was back when, they, you know, they had no respect for martial arts. It was all like, I'll tell you, nothing stronger than a good old Sunday punch. And they'd be sitting there eating fucking steaks and people would just drop it. Yeah. Right and left. Like dropping dead. I know you like when, conspiracy theories. You like a good conspiracy theory that's been proven. I like a good one. The good one. I don't Here's like a real fucking one. Here's a silly real one. ones. Here's I don't like being one. lumped in with people who have silly I ones. I understand that. Here's a real one. I don't that like was reading. just proven. It was in the New York Times. They proved that scientists were paid off by the sugar industry in the nineteen sixties. Oh yeah, I've absolutely they were that. paid off to make saturated fat the culprit for all these diseases and fat fat people and heart attacks when it was actually sugar. I'm loving they were trying where this to is take going. the blame away from sugar and pin it on saturated fat. So, bacon so these scientists fine. bacon is actually not bad for you. Saturated fat is actually not bad for you. There's a giant illusion that cholesterol, everybody thinks, chole oh, your cholesterol is high. Dietary cholesterol barely moves the needle on blood lipids. Blood lipids, like when they measure your diet, when you measure cholesterol in your blood, has to do with a lot this of things. It sounds great to me, but you're do, also a stand-up comedian. You don't, have a, you don't have a white lab coat on. I'm sitting here like, okay, I, I just, Dr. Rogan. I read, I read these things. <laughs>